Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, where today I'm using the Naughty Palette from BH Cosmetics. Again, I recently did an entire week of uploads using only this palette. I will link that in the description box below for you. And then I had some subscribers who were like, ooh, you should try these colors together. You should try these colors together. You guys were so excited about this palette. So I decided to take a couple of those ideas and make a couple more eye looks. If you wanna see how I did these looks, then don't go anywhere. If you've never been here before, hello, my name's Rachel and I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom. I have been pre-filming today's actually actually January 9th, but I'm going to be having a baby at the end of February. So I've been doing some pre-filming to get content uploaded so that when I have down for the count, you guys won't miss any uploads. I upload multiple videos every week. It's all eyeshadow related content. And if you would like to see more, remember to like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss anything new. Now let's get going with these lovely eye looks. The suggestions that I'm going to be doing in today's video are ones that didn't resemble too closely the first four looks that I posted using this palette. So one, one of them was to use the blue purple matte with the plummy shades and the purple shimmer. And then the other suggestion was to do like a chocolate truffle, a dark brown into peachy pink. So I'm going to do one of those on each eye and just show you guys some other ideas using this palette if you feel bored. <laughs> and for those of you who suggested these looks, thank you very much because this is going to be fun. I have already primed my eyes using the Glam Light Icing Primer and now we're going to zoom in and get started. I'm gonna dive right in using this Blurple Matte shade. It is called Ho Ho No, and I'm taking it with a medium dense blending brush. I'm gonna place this in my outer corner. I was really impressed when I used this palette. The first time I used it, I was thinking, oh wow, that's actually really good. And then each subsequent time I used it, uh, that opinion was simply reinforced. The shadow quality is excellent. It really is BH Cosmetics good formula. Look, <sighs> Look at this color. This is the definition of blurple, isn't it? Blurple is a very unattractive word, but this is the definition of a blurple color. It is blue and purple, and it's a little hard to figure out which one it is. I'm gonna carry this in my outer corner and into my crease a bit, and then I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush and just soften it and buff it up. This is actually such a beautiful match to my earrings. Can you see that? It's perfect. It's, maybe the earrings are a little bit lighter toned, but probably because they're transparent, but mm, lovely. I'm gonna deepen this now with a small blending brush and the shade called Nutcracker. I'm gonna place this in the smaller section of the outer corner. This is a plummy tone, it's super pretty. Everything in this palette is so pigmented though, I want to be careful not to overwhelm the shadows that I place down first. And because this is slightly darker than that Ho Ho No shade, it would be kind of easy to overwhelm it. So I may need to go back into Ho Ho No and bring in a little bit more of that blue purple tone. Wow, seriously, wow, these shadows, incredible. Okay, so I've used the blue purple matte and I've used the plummy shade. Now I wanna take a flat brush and dip into the purple shimmer called Candied Fruit. Now I was very careful to ensure that I wasn't redoing looks that I did in that week of series. I don't wanna repeat my own looks. And I also don't want to necessarily repeat someone else's looks. I mean, in a tutorial, there's no reason for two of us to make the same video. I'm gonna spray this shimmer after it's loaded onto the brush. I did use the Nutcracker shade to deepen up something, and I did use the Candied Fruit shade, but I haven't used them together with the blue purple matte, and that combination is gonna be completely different. So here we go with the shade Candied Fruit. I'm placing it on the center of my lid, and I'm gonna leave the inner third of the lid clean. And now taking that same brush, now I'm gonna dip into the shade Snow Day, and I will spray this one as well. I think I've used this just as an inner corner highlight. I haven't used it on the lid space. Snow Day is gonna fill in that naked space of the inner third. Ooh, ha. oh, so pretty. Look at that shadow. I can't believe how, f I've been filming for like five minutes. Oh, wow. So good. Time for the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a more burgundy color. It's called Brick. I've got it on a small blending brush and I'm gonna start that in my outer corner. And oh, I think I'll carry it about halfway. And now for the rest of the lower lash line, I have the shade Ornaments on a much smaller blending brush. I did spray it and I'm gonna lay this down, starting at the inner corner and coming all the way over to meet Brick. This is similar to the whiter shimmer that I put up top, only it's a little bit more pink. So it's gonna tie in in a really pretty way to the lower lash line color. 
Oh, that's so pretty. That is so good. I can't believe how good this is. In keeping with the purple theme, I'm taking a shade from ColourPop for the waterline. This is called Plum Smash. And I'm going to lay that on the whole waterline. Just tight line everything. This is such a pretty uh, pinky, fuchsia, burgundy wine kind of color. I don't know. That was like 16 adjectives. But it's pretty, right? And I'm going to go off camera and finish it up and show you how this eye ends up turning out. Okay, here's the first look. All done. I'm in love with it. I love it. It was so easy. It's so smoky and sultry. And mm, let me show it to you a little bit closer. Okay, wow. Now it's time to go into the second look. So now we're going to work on this eye, and the request was to do a truffle. So dark brown into pink. Now there's only one true pink shade in here. And I'm going to start with the browns in the outer corner, and then this one might end up being all matte. I'm going to start with that same denser blending brush in the, into the shade Yuletide, which I haven't used at all yet. When I do my week of videos, I like to see if I can use as many shades as possible without repeating myself. Now, there were a few shades that I did dip into for more than one look, but nothing as like the main part of the look. I'm carrying Yuletide all the way into the crease because I think I'm going to cut it later. Look at this shadow. I can't believe how good these are. This And this palette's a couple years old. This was, what, 2020's holiday launch? I think 2020. It, such excellent shadows. With the blending brush that I used before, I'm just softening this out. I easily could dip into a different shadow, but I really don't need to because this is buffing out like a champ. I also brought that color onto the outer part of my lower lash line, about the outer half. Now I'm going to take a small blending brush and go into the shade Hot Cocoa and use that to make the outer half or so, maybe the outer third, deeper. This is going to contrast with a light pink, so it shouldn't be difficult to contrast the, the light and dark. But I also like the color contrast. I just want to really make sure I smoke out this outer area. I do love a good smoked out look. And I'll carry this shade onto the lower lash line, probably with a smudger brush, but I might just use this one because it's also easy to work with. And I'm just going to keep that in the outer third of the lower lash line. Now to cut my crease, I'm going to use an actual concealer. You can see how long it's been since I used this. I don't even know if it's still good anymore. I mean, it, it looks like goop. So I guess that's good. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the back of my hand, take a small flat brush and cut my crease. I'm going to take the one true pink matte in the palette. It's called frosting. I've got this on kind of a stubby blending brush and I'm going to lay that over the entire area that I cut with the concealer. And it's not going to show up super different from the, the crease color that I did either. So I'm going to lay this down until I'm happy with it. And then I've got a little trick that I use to accentuate the cut of the crease. I'm going to take a really small blending brush. I think I got this off of Amazon, maybe. I don't remember where I got it, but I've dipped it into the hot cocoa shade, and I'm going to use this to basically paint a line right on the edge of the cut to accentuate the cut and make it look deeper above it so that it kind of stands out against where I laid down that pink shadow. I don't often do cut creases, and so I tend to forget to make my crease dark enough to really show up when it's cut. And so I find myself having to do this more often than I'd like to. But when you're out of practice with a skill, you know, that's what happens. Okay, so now that looks super weird and I'm just gonna take that brush, I've color switched it, cleaned it off a little bit and I'm gonna buff away from the line that I just made. So I've created the line and now I'm softening the line. Now with the original blending brush that I used, I'm taking a little bit of hot cocoa and just tapping over where it meets this pink shadow to work them together a little bit. And I want to take a small blending brush and carry that frosting shade onto the lower lash line as well, because remember, this is a chocolate truffle, right? So we've got the dark chocolate into yummy pink center. Question is, does a chocolate truffle have an inner corner highlight? I think in this case, a chocolate truffle does have an inner corner highlight and it's called meringue. And I'm gonna put that right here. It's really just lightening up that area. This shade is amazing. 
This shade on my skin tone is basically an eraser. If I go too far with a darker shadow, I can just take the meringue shade and buff it out and it backs up whatever color I've laid down. It's awesome. Look at that. I'm sorry, I'm not used to filming this eye. Hopefully I'm not obscuring it too much from you, for you guys. But this is the shadow. What should we do for a waterline? I think it's only natural to continue mirroring onto the waterline. So I have two shades here. This is actually a black and this is the shade Bay Breeze from ColourPop. You may expect that I will place Bay Breeze on the inner half of the lower waterline. And then I'll take the black one, I'll drop Bay Breeze, take the black and put it on the outer half. I'm gonna go off camera, add liner and mascara and be right back to show you guys how this looks. Here's the look and I think it is so pretty. Let me give you a close up. It's a lot more lighthearted, not quite as smoky and sultry as this side, but I still love it just as much. I do love an all matte look. If I could choose between all matte or all shimmer, I would go for all matte. I think it's lovely. So thank you so much to my subscribers who have suggested these color combinations. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope everyone else liked the video. Remember to check out the description box for all the information you would want. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys again very soon for another video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.